Hey everyone, it's Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report here on Mingle Media TV. Tonight we're at the Beverly Hilton for the 20th anniversary Alzheimer's Association A Night at Sardis. We're going to have a lot of TV and Broadway stars performing. Let's check it out. I just sent in my ballot, sir. I hope you voted to merge. <laughs> I did, I'll say it on camera. Oh, good. And I'll tell you, I've been voting for years, decades now. I feel like I tried to get this merger going back in, what, 99 or... Right. 2001. I don't think it's the sentimental choice. I think it's the wise choice. I think it's a smart business choice. I think in a few years from now, people will look back on it and say, oh, why didn't we do this earlier? But uh, that just has to do with business and dealing with management. Uh, I'm a, a proud member of all three unions. I started with Equity and then SAG and then AFTRA. Uh, but they're all representing performers and actors who need to you know, fight for better wages, better conditions, uh, you know, all the stuff that we know about, uh, health and pension and whatever. But I put a lot of time in, more than I intended, and I assure you that merger is a better and a smarter way to go in terms of the future of performers. Do you think it's going to pass? What's your prediction? Yes, I do. I think it, I, I, first of all, I just want it to pass. We need 60% on both sides. I like to believe that it will pass uh, overwhelmingly in a way that, that it, it's clear to management and to our membership that this is really what the members want. The reason I got so involved with this and then continue to be involved in it is I traveled across the country and heard what members had to say. And I believe that, that the overwhelming uh, majority of the membership want this to happen. I hope I'm right. I hope you are too. Now, let's do a little 180 here. Uh, you're here for, I know, back to Alzheimer's. Yeah, well, what's your participation in tonight's events? I've been involved with them a long time. I think a lot of these causes usually goes back to a family root because we, we feel it personally. And my father was a victim of this, and I stayed with him through uh, forgetfulness to catatonia over a, probably a 15 year period. And then I, I became involved in this. Um, I think it's really, I, I don't know if he was even dead yet, but close, soon after maybe, uh, a number of years ago, 50, 20 years ago. And uh, it's very insidious, it's very hard on the family. What I, it's strange to say what you like about a disease as opposed to cancer, heart, all of these things are threatening to us. But we've actually made a dent in Alzheimer's. You know, with a certain amount of money and research, we're finding a way to control it, to maybe not make it. Uh, take over so quickly in a life and that's that's a big success you know it's easy to say nobody will ever have Alzheimer's again well that won't happen it's like like no dog will will be homeless or no child will go hungry but if you put a dent in it if you keep working at it and you see we're ch we're making a change uh, that's a good feeling and that hopefully tonight will uh, make a even bigger dent I hope so a big dent big old dent well, nice talking with you, and thanks for giving us the inside scoop on the merger.